Hello bots, how are you guys doing? <laughs> Do you remember this guy right here? Yeah, that's the same capture card that we reviewed and tested on this channel. If you're new here aside from hitting subscribe, you can also watch the unboxing and review for this device by clicking the link above. Alright, so most of you are probably wondering why I started the video with this capture card. Well, it's because ever since I posted that unboxing video, a lot of you have been asking how to include Party Chat for PS4. So yeah, you guessed it. In this video, I'll show you how to include Party Chat when you record or stream using this device. First thing we'll do is to make sure that we have everything we need. So let's dust them down first and then I'll show you how everything comes together. To make the setup work, we need the following items. First, headset with mic. What I have here is the SteelSeries Arctis 3. It's a wired headset that comes with two male and one female end wire that splits the audio and microphone. We need this wire for this particular setup to work. As far as I know, there are other headsets that have this cable as well. Some even have the cable built in like this. Basically, you don't need to have the same headset as mine. Next thing we need is a TRRS cable. To help you identify if you have the right cable, look at the tip and check if you have three colored lines. If you can see three lines, then you have the right one. This cable splits the microphone and audio as well, but this one has two female ends and one male end. The next item is the TRS cable. This is similar to the TRRS cable that I talked about earlier, but this one, it duplicates the audio instead. This cable won't support the sound coming in from your microphone. And like earlier, to identify if this is the right cable, we'll look at the tip again. If you see two colored lines, then this is the cable you need. Next up is the male-to-male -male auxiliary cable. We'll use this to pass the audio from the PS4 into the computer. Lastly, we need an extra microphone. So we need a USB microphone because the audio port in the computer will be used by that auxiliary cable I mentioned earlier. I'm using the Fifine K052. It's a simple and easy to set up microphone, and I really love it. If you want to know more about the mic, you can watch my video for it by clicking the link above. Okay, so now that we have all the cables and devices we need, it's time to put them all together. First, get the TRRS cable and connect it to your PS4 controller. Next, take your TRS cable and connect the male end into one of the female end of the TRRS cable. Then get your auxiliary cable and connect one end to the TRS cable and the other to the computer. Next, get your headset. Connect the microphone jack of your headset to the TRRS cable. The audio jack of your headset then goes into the TRS cable. I know it's a bit confusing, so I'm leaving an image here to help you get a better picture. Basically, here's how you should set them up. Now that we're done with the cables, let's go to OBS. On OBS, go to Sources, and then click on the plus sign. Choose Video Capture Device. Click OK. And then for Devices, choose USB Video. And then click OK. Next, we'll make sure that the USB mic can pick up our voice. So the next step is go to Settings of OBS and then click Audio. Under Devices, look at Mic Auxiliary 2. Click on the drop-down and choose your USB microphone. Take note, our microphones are not the same, so be sure to identify your USB microphone first, because that's what you'll pick to complete this step. After that's done, click Apply and then click OK. Now that OBS is set up, let's go to your PS4. On your PS4, go to Settings, choose Devices, and then Audio Devices. 
click Output Device and set your PS4 output to TV or AV amplifier. This step right here solves the problem of losing audio whenever you plug a headset onto your controller. After setting up all the cables, OBS, and PS4, now it's time to test if everything is working. Now here's a test recording I made with my brother. Apologies for the buzzing sound, it's from the mic my bro is using. So without further ado, here's the test recording. Okay, go, go. Uh, uh, you go be loud and clear, bro. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Yes, sir. I need to know if you can hear me, bro. Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Yeah, yeah. My boy! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All right, now I'm here. No, G? Oh, G, G, G. Thank oh, you, sir. And there you have it. That's how you include party chats from your PS4 to your video game recordings and live streams. If you have a suggestion, or maybe a simpler setup than this, we'd love to hear more from you about it. So feel free to share it to everyone by leaving a comment below. If you're new to the channel, now's the best time for you to subscribe and ring that notification bell to keep you updated with tips like this. Now if the video helped you out, you can let me know by hitting like. That way I'll know what type of videos I need to make for you guys next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.